Hey everyone, I'm Multiple Magneto, and welcome to Killing Floor 2. I am alone today for the moment, and uh, I'm going to be talking about the support specialist as I've reached rank 25 with him. So, for starters, we're going to take a look at this, uh, the perk bonuses right off the bat. So, welding proficiency, 2% per level, so 50% max. That's actually quite handy, because you don't have to spend so much time uh, welding a door, for one and by the time you're running off to go to another door you'll have most of your welder already recharged which is pretty nice shotgun damage one percent per level that's that's pretty reasonable i mean shotguns are powerful already and that just added damage makes them a lot better even the starter shotgun is pretty lethal um shotgun penetration 625 percent that's a lot that is a lot <laughs> So, even, yeah, even though, like I said, even the basic shotgun, or the starting shotgun, I mean, is a monster. And then just once you get the AA-12 or whatever, <laughs> nothing stands in your way, except maybe a scrape or a flush round. Grenade damage, um, it seems, a, that's pretty lethal as well. I mean, it has a huge explosion radius, and not to mention some stuff flies out of it I don't know what that's all about but that does a lot of damage as well by themselves already and just all that more all that extra damage right there is just unbelievable alright so uh, the skills ammo so 20% more ammo this is not bad at all it even works on when you pick up a like a shotgun or something off the ground um, you'll have extra ammo for that which is interesting in my opinion um, fortitude enough said for there you get 50 you get an extra 50 percent health so yay to that uh, bombard so you have an extra chance to stumble a zed with uh, ranged support weapons <sighs> I personally don't think um, this is really useful considering with how powerful the shotguns are already um, and especially if you aim for the head, they will just pretty much, they'll die. Um, strength, I personally love it over the tenacity, which I'll talk about later. But I love it because, um, that go helps me towards my setup of having the AA-12 and the combat shotgun. Alright, so, set time safeguard. So when you're near allies, you'll get an extra 5% improved armor. So I'm going to, I assume that means uh, your armor takes less damage. Alright, so as you can see, I have 19 extra shells instead of the normal uh, 16. Here we go. And if you can, if you can help it. You're going to want to have as many Zeds behind or in front of another as possible because your shells are limited compared to like the commando or something and you want to take out as many as possible. This thing even has some range to it. Okay, grenade time. Bye bye. Can reopen the trailer. Oh yes. All right. Let's see what else. Oh, um, I don't remember if I explained this in one video or not, but if you drop like the starter shotgun or the katana, or pretty much any weapon you find, with the exception of the higher tier weapons, you can get an extra 50 dosh out of it. Nice. All right. So I need to go this way. <clears throat> God, my throat's hurting a little bit. Okay, so I didn't see much uh, bombard going off because my shotgun is so damn strong. <laughs> Supplier, it's useless on single player because you can't give yourself free ammo. Um, regeneration, it's just like with the field medic, it's practically useless. Because, well, you, for one, you're going to want to have more health anyway. And two, it's a slow regeneration just like the field medic. I don't need to talk about that since I already talked about the regeneration in the other one. Uh, tactical reload, 
I say it's a must have because with shotguns, especially when you have to reload the very first shot, you always reload it in the slot right there and then that. Fix that armor. Looks terrible. I don't care about my armor. More Zeds on the way. Start to wrap things up as they say. Oops. Oh yeah, I took off supply or I took off uh ammo, so um I don't have that extra shotgun shell. Your boost. armor's falling to pieces. Get it fixed. <sighs> what a waste. Oh well, time to look for some ammo. Uh, see, I can't change anything else right at the moment. So I'll have to wait a sec. Hurry up. Got ammo are getting here. closer. I also found oh, out, because I don't remember if in the first Killer 4 you could do this, but uh, with the AA-12, <coughs> you can switch it to uh, the fully automatic mode, or you can switch it to, uh, was it armor? Yeah. Anyone need you can switch it to single shot mode. Of course, without the uh, AA-12 fires, you don't really need to do that, because you can just click and single shot if you need to. And that way you can have the uh, auto fire handy when you need to take out like a massive horde of enemies or work on a uh, scrape or flesh pound. Just so you know, you guys, I also kind of suck with shotguns. <laughs> Or maybe I didn't miss. I'm just, I'm used to seeing a bunch of experience. There we go. Yeah, playing this on like Hell on Earth difficulty or something, with all of them chasing at you, he gets several hundred right off the bat. It's crazy. Die, you bitch. Ooh, a husk. I could Get to the indicated pod for resupply. All right, let's sell this shit and pull up the AA-12 just because I can. All right, now we're gonna change a few skills. Um, tenacity. I didn't find it very useful. I mean, yeah, that's 10% extra damage to shotguns, but or excuse me. However, with the strength, you could carry the second most powerful or second expensive shotgun that. Uh, the support specialist has, which is the combat shotgun. So, I mean, here's here's what I think. I'd rather do more damage with two powerful weapons instead of just a little more damage with just one weapon. All right, barrage. So, yay! This will go in hand with a Thanks commando so because of how long their Z time extension can go, which is up to like six seconds. So what this does is you get an extra 15% damage increase, which even it's even more deadly than it needs to be, honestly. <laughs> oh crap, I forgot to switch to ammo from supplier. Oh well. So yeah, you can switch between... You can fire just as fast in single shot as you could uh, fully auto, but... The fully auto will just make it a lot easier on you. So there's pretty much no point to use in the uh, single shot mode. Let's see. Break time's over. Get back to work. Oh, we got another shotgun. Alrighty. Might as well make use of this. I don't see me getting the Z time and lasting long though. But, uh, yeah, the main job of the support specialist is to keep everyone supplied with ammo and to weld doors as needed. Well, I didn't make a 
good example there. <laughs> um, yeah, I probably should have welded before I... Why are you attacking the door? I should have welded before the round started, but you saw how fast that door welded up, right? <clears throat> Alright, so let's get some perks adjusted. Hit the barrage, put the strength on, and ammo. So, in single player, this will be my setup. Ammo, fortitude, tactical reload, strength, and Zetem barrage. On multiplayer, I'll just switch over to supplier. Because who knows if somebody will need that extra free ammo crate, as it were. Especially for the medics, because like I've explained in the medic video, the grenades are really powerful and really useful. Alright, um, I also want to show, um, I'm gonna need to kill my resolution a little bit, but I want to show, whoops, no, not audio, I want to show an easy tactic to, uh, beat Hans, because he's actually a lot easier than he should be, <coughs> so I'll, uh, cut the video from here until I fight Hans. Okay, I'm back for a All second, you guys. Um, I know I said I cut out to Hans, but I wanted to explain a little bit about the combat shotgun here. I prefer it over the double-barreled shotgun. Like, in the first game, I absolutely hated the double-barreled shotgun. It's pretty useless. No, and I still hate the uh, double-barreled shotgun here in this one as well. So, I admit it is not as bad as it was in the first one. But it's still not my preferred weapon. Because it's two shots, and... In a game like this, you're gonna need more than just two shots in a magazine, clip, or whatever chamber to deal with all that. The only only real thing I could see you using the double barrel for would be like a scrape or a flush pound. But I personally think that the AA-12 overpowers that. Because of how fast it fires. Also, what I like about this guns like the regular shotgun or this combat shoddy is you can reload and just fire when you have a shell in there. However, with the double barrel, you see both both two shells at once or whatever. You can't exactly uh, reload and then fire immediately. Up. Plus, this has a high fire rate, so yeah. Alright, you and boom. Alright, so yeah, let's see. You can have 96 shots with the AA 12 with the ammo, which is amazing. But yeah, in multiplayer, what I don't. What I. <sighs> honestly don't like is the, the fact that some That's support specialists go insane. with the ammo instead of supplier. People need mm -hmm. ammo, especially on the higher difficulties where ammo crates are scarce. So yeah, those support specialists that are looking out for them, in my opinion, is just... Bonjour. Come and get your it's not trade. all that good. You're gonna screw over your team. And what I usually do is, I just stick with the first shotgun for a couple rounds, so that way, um, <clears throat> I can skip over the double barrel shotgun for one, and for two, I save money. Because I also look for, uh, ammo crates as well. Ooh, that sounds lovely. There's a cloaked monster here! Finish the job. Ha! Oh, there's a 
No more. Oh, I thought I thought he was gonna fucking roll to get at me. I was like, what? <laughs> um, I think that's a clot. Uh, there's like different variations of the clot now, so it's a little bit confusing to me. Like, but the the guys that have like the bulging heads have a. Uh, they tuck and roll. Oh, it's a bloat. Things are about to get serious. All right. Time to take on Hans and uh, show you what I was talking about. How fighting him is easier than people make it out to be. Oh, I didn't realize I still had the varmint rifle. Okay. Two thousand ten dosh. Two thousand ten. Nintendo. Boom. Full. So in situations like this, except for like the very higher difficulties, like Hell on Earth or whatever, um, <clears throat> I try to stick with the combat shoddy for the most part. Time's almost up. Oh, oh no. This is this one. And. Uh, for, and use the double A twelve for stuff like Time boss up. or scrape or flesh pound. But yeah, since I've discovered how to I must interrupt my vital work for trash like you. Discovered how to take out scrakes a lot easier. It's just, they aren't that much of a threat anymore. I can't see the beast Okay. Let's me test my I'm gonna want him to throw his gas first off. And let's just get out of here, so. Now, here's. Check this out. Alright. I'm not gonna waste time. I'm just going to, uh. Let him grab me. Just smashing you is not enough. You are annoying me. It's a good thing that in single player he doesn't. Well, he's going to be dull. I'll tell you that. When you get close to him, he'll charge it. Oh, wow, second phase already. Can't you find me, little people? Check out them. Uh, yeah, save the little the comic shot for the little guys. I have trained another, and yet there are more humans here. More humans. Perhaps some grenades will finish you. No, no no gas, please. Oh wait, no, those are regular grenades. Okay, that's gonna suck. All right, but now I can't see. Oh god, this is gonna hurt. Oh hi. But yeah, as you can see, look how I'm trading him like a scrake. This is what you normally want to do, and you only want one person at a time behind him. Otherwise, he's gonna try to like do his uh, explosive gas attack right there, which kind of sounds like a fart, honestly. Nice. But yeah, you don't want to be too far away from him so he just, so he shoots you. You want to want him to try to melee you so you can uh, dodge left and right out of his way, and just stay behind him like you would a scrake. 
Alright, so that was a support specialist. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I don't have much more to say about it, really. I think it's pretty balanced compared to, like, the medic. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more, click the subscribe button up above. If you want to keep up to date on what my activities are, whenever I post them, you can check out my Facebook or Twitter. Or you can check out my Google+, Plus, though I don't really use it that often. Um, for my live streams, when I do them, you can go to my Twitch channel down below. And if you're curious about the one-off videos that I do, go ahead and click that one to the lower left. So thank you very much for watching the videos. I hope you enjoyed them. Until next time.